We are learning the adductor canal block today. The adductor canal is in the thigh surrounded by muscles on three sides. The muscle forming the canal roof is the sartorius muscle. The canal contains the femoral artery, some veins and two terminal branches of the femoral nerve. These terminal nerves are the nerve to vastus medialis muscle and the saphenous nerve. The saphenous nerve is purely sensory and serves the lower leg. The saphenous nerve lies lateral to the artery. The nerve to vastus medialis muscle, after supplying that muscle, continues into the knee joint. There it supplies part of the medial joint capsule. The adductor canal block is thus used either as a block of the saphenous nerve for lower leg surgery or in combination with an periarticular infiltration of the knee joint. The advantage of the block is there are two anatomical visual guides to finding the saphenous nerve, namely the overlying sartorius muscle and the femoral artery. The first disadvantage of the block are there are blood vessels at risk of needle puncture. The second disadvantage of the block is that it paralyzes vastus medialis. For the adductor canal block, we just come to mid-thigh. We're going to look for the sartorius muscle to identify the adductor canal. So what we're looking for is our old friend Sartorius, and there is this triangular muscle. There's a deck along the top, there's the top of that muscle, and then it's got a hull, it comes down, and then the hull goes up again, and you'll notice there's actually a split in this muscle. That little fascia there is just a developmental remnant from four-legged animals that had two muscles that fused. Now the adductor canal itself is technically this space under this muscle, around here like that. So we see a vein, we see the artery, and the saphenous nerve lies to lateral and above that artery. So we're just going to try and inject drug in that corner, but not into a vessel. Local anesthetic. Little mosquito bite. So there's my needle. I'm going to advance to adjacent to the artery. Now I can improve the image of this needle. You see it's about 45 degrees downward. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to retreat with my transducer so the image moves across. So I retreat and then I dig the heel in and I look back. What that will do as it makes my needle more horizontal. And all I want to do is get next to that artery. I may feel a little fascial pop. I did. Aspirate for me. Inject a bit of dextrose water. You can see from the tissue distortion where my needle is. I'm going to penetrate sartorius muscle and through that covering fascia. I'm going to do a little bit of heel and retreat. I'm just changing my grip on this transducer and this will make my needle appear more horizontal. I'm just got to pop through this last fascia. Inject. See how it surrounds the artery. 